Hello, Mars has gone into Pisces, it's the full moon. Um, before I forget, I just uh, put up 12 videos for all the different moon signs. It's only a minute long, but still a minute of information and vibe that you can check out on my YouTube channel uh, for all of the different moon energies. And I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to update the sun energies because I was so sleep deprived. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm also going to do the rising, the Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn energy for TikTok, and then I'll post them on YouTube as well when they're all together and completed. So anyways, go check that out if you're interested. Uh, four of them posted as shorts. I don't know how or why or whatever, but um, if you just search it, then you'll be able to find it. Okay, so I think first and foremost, let's look at the full moon so of course the full moon is here it'll be going on for about another yeah about another day and a half um <clears throat> marking essentially for friday and saturday and i think that something that's really nice about this full moon is with mars going into pisces where it'll be for the next six weeks we'll get into that in just a little bit we have a lot of what we're finally kind of chilling out a little bit um as per the sun and aries season there's it's all just energy it's never anything to feel good about or bad. well i mean there's stuff to good feel good about there's nothing to feel bad about or to ever like lament seriously you know there are just challenges and um that being said as much as there's been a lot of formative energies with mars being conjunct saturn being able to come up with ideas and plans for the future and all this stuff there's also a lot of heaviness with that whenever Saturn's involved, it's so helpful for us, it helps us to form, but there's also a sense of having to be patient, having to maybe be frustrated because things aren't moving as quickly as you'd like. Um, when it comes to anger, we might have to deal with certain situations that are just frustrating, they're out of our control, but are ultimately helping us to grow and whatever. Anyways, all that is really in the rear view mirror now because Mars has gone into Pisces and Mars will continue to move away from Saturn from here on out until basically another maybe two years from now or something like that. So this is nice too because Aries rule Mars rules Aries. So this full moon is majorly sponsored by Pisces energy. We have Venus, Mars, uh, Neptune, and Jupiter all in Pisces now. And before we get into that, I think just with the full moon, this is this is going to be a really overall, I think, actually, this is kind of like a good test for the next six weeks is wherever you are subconsciously, wherever you are emotionally, um, if you're feeling really good, if you're in tune with your subconscious, if you've healed any kind of wounds, any kind of real traumas that you experienced in the past, if your relationships are, are in a good place, you're spending time with people that love you and, and that you love, um, as long as essentially you're in tune with your subconscious, with your consciousness and, and with spirituality, with super consciousness, with God, however you want to put it, as long as all that's aligned, this is going to be a nice full moon and it'll be really smooth. I think overall most people will be experiencing that i think some people might experience a full moon where perhaps there's a lot of arguing okay one thing first with every full moon there's a lot of intensity we have the earth we have the sun and we have the moon on opposite sides of the earth so we got two different directions it's a lot of tension but it's not necessarily bad we can use that tend i wouldn't even say tension is the right word it's a lot of energy it's quite intense but it can be intense in a good way as well so if you're channeling all of this this emotion in a positive way beautiful you know what i used to do years ago and what i'd love to do again sometime is uh i would always go to a drum circle on each full moon with a couple friends and that was a great way to express all this energy so do something that's fun do something that's creative that's expressive um especially with loved ones since moon is in libra there's that big focus of self the sun in aries and then moon in libra other so spend time with a loved one especially with all this pisces energy this is probably going to be a more of a chill full moon so i think really when it comes to that intensity as long as you're around people who again are, are in tune with their subconscious and you're in tune with yours beautiful and honestly this is also a great full moon to make progress with that so if you have somebody who is willing to talk about things that if you're going through something that's really deep or really down you know really challenging emotionally this is a really great healing time period and that that brings us to really what the next six weeks is all about with mars being in pisces is the resolution of the previous about year and a half to two years i don't know the exact length of this particular cycle but mars essentially does a full uh orbit in relation to to us here on earth 
um, well, of course, around the around well, around the sun, but um, from here on Earth, Mars does a full orbit around every year and a half to two years from our perspective here on Earth. So this is the last six weeks of that cycle. Again, I, I don't know if it was. It's usually about two years, depends on the Mars retrograde and stuff like that. Um, but in any case, for the last at least year and a half, this is the culmination period for all of us. The next six weeks is the culmination period for all of us for the last year and a half to two years. As per Mars, as per action, as per sexuality and passion, as per you know that part of life, but also passion as per motivation, uh, what we're seeking to accomplish, how we're seeking to grow. It's a warrior energy, you know, how we're what we're trying to uh, conquer and accomplish. So this is really good to keep in mind over the next six weeks as well as another thing we'll get to that in just a moment but we are really doing the prep work during the next six weeks for the next year and a half to two years sorry i should have looked that up before that i'll, I'll cover this in the the future uh transits where we cover mars i don't know it, it's probably i don't know i know we have a mars retrograde coming up too so probably doesn't matter. Anyways, just know that the next six weeks is the culmination for the near future for the, at least the next year and a half. So what does this mean? It means that we should resolve anything that's that's troubling us or angering us. Uh, Mars and Pisces is a great way to let go of the ego, to let go of things that have been frustrating us. Uh, and it's also a great way to resolve anything that we tried to do that didn't quite get done or we didn't take it to that next level we're preparing for the mars and aries transit and mars and aries is conjunct jupiter and aries this year this is amazing this does not happen even every 12 years um i'm trying to do the calculation in my head i don't, I don't know if it happens every 12 years every 24 years maybe even every 36 years anyways for this to occur it is exciting especially since they're both at the beginning of the, the their respective transits which means there's going to be essentially there's going to be so much energy that last week of may and june and indeed there's going to be so much energy that we want to prepare for it and this is what mars or Pi in pisces or really any pisces transit is all about is resolving that cycle resolving that transit and preparing for it next so we've already been doing this with jupiter again like i mentioned jupiter will be going into aries the last week of may um, where we're resolving the previous 11 years of growth of information gathering of wisdom gathering of prosperity and preparing for a new cycle to begin shortly with jupiter going into aries that last week of may so mars joining the party it's it's the next six weeks it's tricky because we have the sun in Aries still for the next about five days. And so that energy is still about moving forward. And it's not that we want to pause progress or stop progress or reverse progress. And that's something that's really good to keep in mind. We'll get into that in just a little bit with Mars and Pisces transit as well. But um, this, this is an interesting time period where moving forward includes a lot of reflecting, a lot of introspecting, a lot of chilling out on the ego, listening more. Uh, especially from the last couple of weeks where we had Mercury and Sun in Aries, it could be a little bit tricky to listen. Speaking of which, um, people have been great in readings. I'm not being passive aggressive, but I just that got me thinking. Uh, as always, I'm doing readings info in the description to book a reading with me. It's always a good time to get a reading as long as you are genuinely open and interested and curious, even if you don't have any questions. But if you have any questions, that's always great too. We cover love life, we cover life purpose, we cover challenges, gifts, anything you like. Um, and I offer a lot of different kinds of readings. So that is in the description for the different kinds of, either we could talk or I could do a recorded reading for you, etc. So anyways, um, this is a really good time to listen. You know, we have a lot of, we've had a couple of shifts recently in the last week with Mercury going into Taurus and Mars going into Pisces. We're much more into the feminine now. So we were highly masculine for basically, I think pretty much all of March, um, especially March where Venus was in Aquarius as well. But long story short, we're we're being more receptive. It's good to put the ego on the shelf a bit, <clears throat> and uh, to take care of ourselves, to reflect, and to prepare mentally and emotionally for when June comes around. When we, if we don't make time and space to meditate, to reflect, and really introspect and figure out what's going on within us emotionally, then when that last week of May and especially June. Uh, the first week of June comes around with all this Aries energy, we might not have the right direction. We might not figure out because it's truly, I can't, I really cannot exaggerate this. Like there's nothing to be worried about, but I cannot exaggerate this. Mars and Jupiter being conjunct in Aries at the beginning of their respective transits is like a rocket 
So figure out where you're aiming that rocket, because I know we talked about this a lot last October. Um, this is even more so for sure, because Jupiter in Aries is the beginning of a 12 year cycle. It's a year long transit and Mars is in Aries. Oh my God, Mars rules Aries. You know, there's so much energy. So figure out what you want to accomplish over the next, I would say two years, the next Mars cycle with the last, uh, uh, with the last six weeks of this current Mars cycle, so for basically the next six weeks, and you will be set up so beautifully to consciously make use of all that energy and not just kind of burn away but not actually get anywhere, you know? Uh, a lot of people, if they don't do this introspecting over the next six weeks, if they don't do emotional work and figuring out what's going on within them subconsciously and also spiritually, you know, that they might... <laughs> or you know the rocket might start and then it stops and then you know it, it's just, there's all sorts of different ways but we really want to be aiming and be figuring out okay cool what do I want to accomplish for the rest of this year what do I want to accomplish for really the the next year and even the next two years with this Mars cycle um, and and what do I want to grow how do I want to grow over the next 12 years so very exciting one last thing transiting Mars being in Pisces there's a challenge with this I think especially with all this other Pisces energy but Mars in Pisces is really the culprit here where we really want to make sure that we are not self-sabotaging. We are not holding ourselves back out of fear, out of resentment, or any kind of negative emotion. We don't want to be getting caught in a cycle. Again, we want to be introspecting. We want to be working our way through this. We want to be talking about this with loved ones as need be. But a lot of it's going to be more internal. Both has have their place in healing and, and empowering and enlightening our subconscious to be more consciously aware of what's going on within us. But... um. Yeah, that that's that is the every energy has its shadow side, its its unconscious side that can potentially arise if we're not being consciously aware. And that's a beautiful thing about all this is awareness and perseverance and practice and implementing that awareness. It, it's all good. That helps us to overcome these challenges. But we have to do that first. We have to be aware and then we have to then practice. So the awareness point here is, again, don't self-sabotage. Don't hold yourself back out of fear, out of any kind of negative emotion. Um, it's so easy to, you know, you know what you want to do in life. You're, you're so excited, but, oh, I'm just going to shy away. I'm going to do what I'm familiar with. I'm going to go. And it's like going down the drain. You know, that's not going to help you to get to where you need to go. So that's something that's really good to keep in mind. Again, we are in a very patient kind of go with the flow time. Our ego is chilling. That's really nice, especially since it was on swole throughout most of March and even the first bit of April. Um, but we still want to make sure that we're honoring our ego. We're taking care of ourselves as well as taking care of other people. We'll get to that in the next video um, with all the other Pisces energy that's going on. But it's it's so important to keep that balance for sure. Um, I think one last thing, Mercury is flying through Taurus. Uh, it's at eight degrees already. It's conjunct Uranus at 13 degrees. So Mercury will be there for probably about another week and a half. This is a really beautiful time to be asking ourselves, okay, how do I update my information? How do I, how do I evolve my life through any kind of information or skills that I need to learn? Uh, because it, without exaggeration, even just knowing that little bit of information can take you to amazing new heights. So this is a very practical focused energy honestly this is a beautiful time to learn more about astrology whenever uranus is involved that's the energy of aquarius and aquarius and so many there's no hierarchy it's all energy and everybody can learn from astrology and gain from it and contribute to it etc but uh, aquarius energy is really the energy that is most focused on relating space and astronomy and psychology astrology so with Mercury being conjunct Uranus, this is a beautiful opportunity to learn because again, Uranus rules Aquarius. So for all of us, we want to be evolving. And I think this is a great time to learn more about your birth chart. I'm not trying to do another plug or anything for readings, but honestly, that's a great time to get a reading. But um, just in general, you know, it's good to learn more about ourselves and uh, to be able to whatever, whatever, however we need to, whatever we need to learn to be able to up our game this is a really, really good thing. So again, it can come through information. I think information is a key point here, but also skills that we have to learn, you know, practical things. And if you do that, beautiful. You're setting yourself up really nice, really nice. Infinite love to you, my friends. Happy full moon. I hope you have a beautiful Mars and Pisces transit for the next six weeks and lots of love and goodness flow through you and around you. Namaste. Peace. One last thing that just came to me. Let go of fear. Embrace 
any anything else. <laughs> embrace anything good. Embrace joy. Embrace going for it. Even if you're feeling a little shaky, go for it. This is a beautiful time for that. It's always a good time, but this is a really good time to break through any kind of subconscious walls, keeping you from what you need to experience and what you need to gain in your life. Peace.